Dikiso Setsabi is on his way to one of the seven rural health centers he serves. He's one of 30 sample transporters operating in Lesotho, the missing link between rural clinics and hospital laboratories. I love riding the bike because it's not here for fun, but to help the community. It makes me really proud because there aren't many of us who ride. At Takiso's destination, Fatima Health Center, the nurse Choloba is with one of his HIV positive patients. Mama Chlodi has walked for four hours to get here from her village. The drugs she takes to manage her HIV have been causing her painful side effects, so she stopped taking them. We are checking how the kidneys are functioning and we are going to check as well how the liver is functioning so that we can change to other first-line regimens which has a lesser side effects. The faster Choloba can get the results, the sooner he can get Mamakhlodi back on treatment. He knows that Takiso's on his way, but that wasn't always the case. Before the motorbikes, Choloba would have to rely on patients volunteering to take samples to the hospital laboratory 20 kilometers away on public transport. Previously, there was no choice. The samples includes the TB bacilli as well as HIV. If anything could happen for the spilling of those uh, samples within the public uh, transport, that means every passenger will be at risk of contacting some infection. Samples often sat waiting for someone to take them and Choloba had to collect the results himself. Sometimes the whole process would take two to three months. It was a delay that cost lives, especially with diseases like tuberculosis. TB is very important to get the results immediately. While we are still waiting for the results, the patient is already infecting other people and we end up with a lot of deaths. But now, Takiso visits the health center twice a week. Today, as well as Mama Chlodi's samples, he's collecting blood and sputum from nine people who may have TB. He's been trained how to handle and transport these samples. Because I ride on these rough roads every day, I know how to handle them. When I get to parts that are really potholed, that shake you around, I stand up. In a car, the samples would just be rattling around all over the place. Many samples used to be ruined by lengthy storage or in transit. But now, Takiso can get to the lab quickly, ensuring the samples arrive in good condition. I register the samples and I also help with basic laboratory tests because they've taught me how to do that. A couple of days later, and Takisa's returning to Fatima Health Center with the results. And for Choloba, there's great news about his suspected TB patients. Results testing for TB, they were beautifully negative. There's good news for Mama Chlodi too. The results show her liver and kidneys are functioning well, so she can be given more suitable life-saving treatment straight away. And for those like her who have to walk so far to get here, the reliability of sample transport means it's never a wasted journey. Mm -hmm.